Hey, look at that. That's cool. It's like, what's up, ladies, Jamma Josh Bear here. And today, I'm going to show you how to make the gobble gum machine out of Legos. And yes, I'm using my new camera. Got a good shot. All right, so yeah. All right, then yeah. So these are all the pieces you'll need to make the beaters. The gobble gum machine, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this is a good quality camera. So first step is, yes, first step is to get this. Watch, let's see if it'll focus a it. Wee, sorry. Sorry, camera. I'm putting you to the test today. Wow, damn, that's good. So, uh, one by two brick and a one by two brick, well, Technic brick with one hole in the center. Then you're going to want to get chrome, light gray, or dark gray one by ones. Now, if you have a two by two chrome uh, plate, one two by two chrome uh, plate piece, like this but not round and chrome then you can use that too you can use light gray too doesn't really matter and then to hold this together you're going to want to use these you know the hinged the things the hingy oneies hingy oneies and then you're going to put this on it the reason why we're using that and then you want to do that is because it adds kind of some a uh, bit of uh, uh distinction and a little bit of uh, focus and good stuff now you want to put this tooth this kind of like dragon tooth piece in the front there so it kind of looks like that and then now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna put you're gonna put these dragon tooth pieces there and then two on the back now these ones in the front aren't gonna attach a hundred percent well because of as you can see the tooth there it kind of sticks over, but you know, front words like this, it looks pretty good. Remember, this is to minifig scale, so you guys can use this to like minifig stuff. And then what you're going to want to do is, if you have like again, any chrome or light gray 2x2 two two plate piece, you're going to put this on here. Some of these chrome pieces look different. Like, let's see if you guys can see. Ah, there you go. See the one? See this one? That bottom one right there? Let's look at it closer. See, it kind of doesn't look chrome. Kind of looks grayish, but what are you going to do about it? And then you're going to want to put... You can put 2x2 two two plates there. I put 2x2 two two round plates. Two of the round ones there. You can put just normal one, square ones. And then in... You want to get this dome piece. I got this one from... Uh, I know what the set is. It was the speeder with the sand blue uh, things. And then inside of this was a mi white minifigure head with uh, printing on it. And it was like, a, a, I don't know, a certain series. I want to put a green stud in there. A blue stud in there. And then a dark purple stud in there. Now, if you do it correctly, you should be able to... Yeah, see, look, if you do it correctly, you should be able to get it down. As you can see, I got it down there. Makes a cool noise. There it is. There, you, everybody, you can use for your minifig Lego creation thingies. So that was a very short video. Thanks for watching, everybody. People are going to be like, it, why is there not much detail? And I'm going to say, because if I were to put detail on the side here, I wouldn't be able to do it here. Because if I put if I put the one by one bricks on this side, I wouldn't be able to do it here. And if I put a red Travis brick here, I wouldn't be able to put a piece there. It would get all messed up. And yeah, so this is the best design that I came up with after an hour of going through different designs. This is basically is exactly what I came up with. So thanks for watching.